Hello, I'm Laura Rhodes and I'm a tourist guide in the northeast of England. One of my favourite places to take people to is Barnard Castle, a place many of you might not even have heard of until a few days ago. But Barnard Castle is known as Barney to the locals and it was named by The Guardian just a couple of years ago as one of the UK's uh, 10 best small towns. Now, most people aren't really travelling very far at the moment, but when lockdown is over, perhaps you might want to come and visit and see what it's all about. So, where is Barnet Castle? It's a little market town way up in the north of England. If you live in London, it's about 250 miles north of London. So you can see from this map, it's actually quite a long way north. And it's not really a journey we would recommend at the moment, particularly not if you're not feeling very well. Um, in the current situation, a lot of hotels are closed. So if you are going to come this far from London, you would really have to have somewhere to stay. Uh, perhaps if your parents live nearby and had a farm with a spare cottage, then that might be an option. Whichever way you come from London or from Durham, Barnard Castle is quite well signposted. And this is what it's all about. The name of the town came from this castle, this 12th century castle that sits high up on the river, on a big rocky outcrop above the River Tees. And it was named after Bernard de Balliol. He was the owner of the castle in the 12th century. Um, it was later taken over by Richard III. And actually within the castle, you can see the emblem of Richard III, the boar of Richard III is displayed on a few places within the castle. So apart from the castle, what else is there to do when you get to Barnard Castle? Now this map shows Barnard Castle or Barney and as you can see there's a road running right through the centre there and that road uh, sits on the line of the old Roman road. Uh, the road is now called Gullgate but it sits on the line of the Deer Street which was the Roman road from York going northwards to Corbridge where it crossed Hadrian's Wall and then up towards, up towards Scotland. So if you look at the map on the left hand side in that wooded area, this is where the castle is. Barnard Castle sits high above the river. And a couple of other places in, this, in the town up towards the top of the map here is a big industrial complex. Um, that's where the office is and the factory of Glaxo Smith Klein is. Not really a tourist attraction though, is it? And then down towards the bottom of the map, you can see the Bose Museum. Now that's not very far from the town centre and um, it's one of the most important museums outside of London and it has a really significant collection uh, including paintings by El Greco and Goya, in fact the only works by these artists outside of the national collections in London and in Edinburgh. This is the Bose Museum, uh, quite an unusual building for a little market town in County Durham, a French style chateau. Um, this was built by John Bowes and John Bowes uh, was married to a French lady and they built this, this building as a house for their collection of art and, uh, and furniture. Now the name Bowes, part of his family line became the Bowes Lion family, so very distantly related to the Queen Mother. Now Barney is a market town for County Durham, so as well as the attractions, it's a really popular place for shopping. Here you can see the markets in the main street here. Uh, there's a weekly market, there's a farmer's market, and there are loads of independent shops and cafes and historic pubs. Barnard Castle has had its real fair share of visitors over the years. In fact, Oliver Cromwell visited the town and is reputed to have been entertained at this house here, Blaygrave's house, which is halfway down the hill. Uh, the house itself, the, the building itself, is still a restaurant today. John Wesley, the Methodist preacher, came here in 1747. And then Charles Dickens, he was doing his research for Nicholas Nickleby uh, nearby, and he took his inspiration for the story of Mr. Humphrey's clock from a watchmaker in Barney Town Centre. There are quite a few other local people who are celebrated with blue plaques on the town, but perhaps the most notorious will be a, a more recent visitor um, and a quick thinking local erected this very special plaque quite recently. Now, one of the other famous features of the town is towards the bottom of the hill is this octagonal building. Uh, it's known as the Butter Market. 
in the town centre. It was originally a market, it then became the town hall and later it became a courtroom. And if you look really carefully at the top of the market cross, there's a weather vane. Now on the weather vane, there's a little flag and in the flag, there are two little bullet holes. And those were the result of a shooting match between a gamekeeper and a local militiaman in 1803. But to be fair, you really do have to have very good eyesight to be able to spot that. Now, you know, if you do need your eyesight testing while you're in Barnard Castle, there's no need to go to Specsavers. Uh, there are a couple of very good local family opticians in the town. Um, the firm of Mosher's Heads now owned by Bayfields. And then there's another uh, optician further down the main street. So once you've tested your eyesight and you know that's fine and you're OK to drive back to Durham or to London, uh, you might want a little bit of a fresh air, particularly if you've not been feeling too well. So there's a lovely walk along the river to view the castle one more time before you leave. Now, at the moment, because of the government lockdown, a lot of places to stay and cafes and bars and shops, they're not open. But if you were perhaps wanting to buy a present for your wife's birthday, well, you'll be out of luck at the moment. You might be able to order something online that once you're safely back home as a little memento of your visit to Barnard Castle. So although Barney truly is a lovely place and I'm sure you would enjoy coming to visit, please don't come yet. Please follow government advice, uh, follow government guidelines and wait until we're able to travel around. Don't come yet. Come when it is safe.